Um, as a coach for the Caps, Corks and Forks teams, um, what you're looking to do is to mentor, guide and nurture your team um, to get them to pair the wines, to create the menu, to pair the beers, to be able to execute on that evening. Um, not only during Caps, Corks and Forks, but following, we always want to teach our students about public speaking skills, confidence in what they, they know and being able to translate that into uh, a team. So this is in the Spec Family Reserve that we tried last week. They were actually out of it. So this is the H Hills Bench, which I actually prefer. And this is a re-release. Wine, unlike beer, I think, has had more of a presence at a table in recent years and historically than beer has. Um, granted, in the old world, um, beers have been paired with menus for quite some time. This is just something I think North America is starting to catch on to. Wines, however, have been a very traditional pairing. I mean, obviously, both teams want to win, but only one can come out on top, so it's fierce, but it, I would say it's friendly. Perspective, getting enrolled in Caps, Corks and Forks allows you to, um, to gain that real world experience if you were going to be a winemaker, if you were going to be in wine marketing, if you were going to be a retail manager. It's starting that first step to be confident and comfortable in your knowledge to be able to share that 